everybody, it is Ninja Mom here, and we are here with my eight days of empties. It should be a week, but you guys know I'm never doing an actual week, so we got eight days. But it is my wax empties, and I'm so sorry about the jiggling with this new tripod. I'm trying to learn how this thing fucking, <laughs> freaking works, and um, it's darker today because it has been nothing but hail and rain and thunder and lightning and high winds all day. I woke up this morning and it was pouring down rain with extremely high winds. So I hope that this quality of the video comes out <laughs> even because it's been touch and go today. So we are going to dive right in to my empties. I did not melt a ton for the week. I'm sorry with the new with becoming a independent Scentsy consultant and all of that, um, there, well, Scentsy's wax lasts a long time. Um, it's thrill performs for a very long time. So I've been melting a lot of Scentsy wax lately, so I don't have as heavy of amount of empties. So let's get in. The only scoopable I finished, um, this week was from, of course, Waxy Tappy. And it is sticky blackberry taffy, blackberry sticky cotton candy, and saltwater taffy. Right here. Mm, I love that blackberry. Her blackberry is really, really good, and I don't like blackberry really. Um, but this was really, really good. It's like a sweet yet tart blackberry. You do get that cotton candy, just sweetens it up. So really all this is, is a super duper sweet with a slight tart blackberry. That's really what it is. With the saltwater taffy and everything in it, that's just what it is. It's, yeah. And it performed a 9 out of 10 and it threw for probably 8 hours. The next items I emptied are from a box of Random Act Apprentice you saw me get last night from Angie. And these are both that smell good shops. We have zucchini brickle, which is butter brickle zucchini bread. Absolutely delicious. Um, it was so, so good. Oh my God, I love it. Um, I melted it this morning alongside of Riptide, which is zucchini bread and blueberry. And it was so good. It filled my entire living room, kitchen, and dining room these two cups and it was so amazing I sat out there and watched the trees whip in the rain come down and enjoyed a good cup of coffee while inhaling the sweet amazing amazing blends of the riptide in the brickle what is that the zucchini brickle or whatever it is zucchini brickle yes they were so so good solid solid 9.5 out of 10 and they were going for about seven hours the next empty i have is l3's waxy wonder domestic goddess this was a little tiny tiny scoopable this is the perfect perfect bathroom scent um i actually even melted it in my kitchen i paired it funny enough i paired a domestic goddess with the new sensationals rice crispy bar crispy bars i don't have it right here marshmallow crispies Oh my God, it was so, so amazing. The play that this took with the citrus on that. Oh, out of this world. Domestic Goddess is one that I would not mind having a scoop in it to pair up with other citruses on cleaning day. Oh, so good. This performed, um, I would say a 10 out of 10. It was really, really good. And it lasted for probably nine hours. Then we have Kelly's Wax Corner Cupcake at Tiffany's. By the way, all of these scents I would repurchase except this. It was your standard Cupcake at Tiffany's and it performed for about four hours. Then we have Nene's Kitchen Melts Banana Foster. Right here, God, I have my fan blowing, sorry guys. Right here. This was a really good banana scent. It was kind of on the fake side, the artificial, but it was still really good and it performed really, really well. Um, the spices in it weren't quite what I was expecting, but it was still a very delicious scent and I would repurchase. 
Now we have L3 Waxy Wonders. This is Cupcake at Tiffany's Birthday Cake Cotton Candy Cotton Candy Frosting Vanilla Bean Noel. This was at Loaf I bought a few months ago. I'm kicking myself in the arse for not being it. Well, when I went to go back to buy another, they were sold out. I'm so sad. They were sold out. Otherwise, I'd have bought probably three or four more of these. This was, oh my gosh, so good. It was very strong. It performed at a 9.5 out of 10, and it lasted for nine hours every time I put it in. And when it would fade down to medium, it just turned into like a medium, really sweet, creamy scent that you could still get another three hours out of. Now, on to my Walmart snippies. I melted and loved the Mainstays Salted Caramel Butterscotch. This is a very good caramel butterscotch. That's what it is. Um, you do get a light salty note. You can almost, it's so, this is such a strong scent just on cold that you can almost taste it in the back of your throat. This is so good. If you guys haven't had the Mainstay Salted Caramel Butterscotch, no joke, go get some. I have the little candle next to my bed that I've still been melting, and then I had a couple of these. I'm going to go back and get more. I think I've got maybe one more of these left. I'm going back for more of this. This is delectable. And for 96 cents a piece, I think they're 94. They're either 94 or 96 cents a piece. So freaking worth it. So worth it. This thing performed, I would say, at an eight, a solid eight for probably six to eight hours. Pumpkins and plums for mainstays. Another really, really good scent. It was like a pumpkin spice plum. It was so good. Um, this scent could be would be one that would it was just yeah it would shell out your house for oh yeah all of fall. So this one. This one is so good. It is everything fall, literally. It is like the scent of sweet, fresh pumpkin and the spices and like a pumpkin -y pie. And you get that plum that comes in and it's such a sweet, dark plum. Oh my God, you guys. And this thing performed at a nine, between an eight and a nine. So an 8.5 for 10 hours, 10 hours. So good. Definitely picking up more of that one. Oh, and then I had another empty of the salted caramel butterscotch, which you just talked to you about. So, yes, I have to purchase more. I think that was all of the ones I had bought. I'm going into Walmart later, so we'll see what else I find, and I'll pick up a couple more of those. Then I melted the amaretto and blood oranges from Mainstays. This scent is so amazing. You don't really get the amaretto a lot. You vaguely get it on warm but the blood orange in this oh my gosh it is so strong and so good it is like a super 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 good deep orange scent it's not super zingy or zesty or sour or anything like that it's just a really good I can't even describe it's like a really really good blood orange you must try it for as cheap as these mainstays are you have got to try it if you like that kind of scent. Then, of course, I emptied the Better Homes and Gardens Pistachio Macaroon. They had these. I'm hoping they have more of these because I've been molting them um, on sale. They had these for 75 cents last time I went. Or, no, they're 50 cents. They started out at $1.50. Then they went down to a dollar, And then they went to 75 cents. And then they went to 50 cents. So if they have more of these, I'm going to load up on them. That scent is amazing by itself and for blending. Then, of course, vanilla buttercream, vanilla bean buttercream. We already know your girl melts the shit out of this one. And um, it, it's a must-have. I have I have about seven clams of this put back because I love it all the time. And I always worry that they might not bring it back because they do make sure to put that little limited edition there. So I always wonder, okay, so they can pull it. In reality, <laughs> they said limited edition. So guess what? They can just take it anytime. So... Wah, wah. Yeah, and this was 50 cents also last time I was in Walmart, which was just this last Friday. And from the new ones, the Better Homes and Gardens, Maple Sugar Drizzle. To me, this smells spicy. I smell, for the name Maple Sugar, Dri Maple Sugar Drizzle, I would expect pancakes. 
I would expect mapley pancake. This is spicy maple. That's what it is. I get a very strong spice note in this scent. It it's good, but if you're not expecting it, it will get you. There is a distinct spice in this, but it does perform very, very well. Um, it performs at about an eight and a half, and it went for ten hours, I'd say. Now we have Scentsy's Hazelnut Frosting. This scent, you guys, literally smells like a really good hazelnut frosting. It's like somebody took the hazelnuts, whipped them up at a fine restaurant, like a fine bakery or artis artisanal, artisanal, whatever the heck those places are called, and um, made an amazing, amazing, amazing frosting scent. I am dying. I only had this one, and this was sent to me by a beautiful, amazing person that is on Instagram. She wanted to send me, some, she offered to send me um, the next melt, and I was only expecting this one clam, or this one bar from her, which, I'll just talk to you about it now, which is the Cotton Candy Cookies. This was the only one I was expecting, and she sent me four. She sent me four different bars. I couldn't believe it. So, I melted this one, and the cotton candy cookies is gone. But, they're both amazing. So, this one threw for about 12, 13 hours at a consecutive high level. Well, medium high. And, it was just so good. It was like the real deal. Oh, I love it. And then, the cotton candy cookies. This thing is a powerhouse. This thing was a solid 10 out of 10. And, it was so good. It was a very good, strong cotton candy. I can't get over how good this was. I loved it. It was amazing. And, I would just, yeah. Super duper good. Now, fun fact. I am saving my Scentsy lids. I'm going to cut these off and save them because I'm such a little dork and I want to make something special out of them. I'm going to make refrigerator magnets out of the Scentsy tops of the bars. Yeah, I'm going to make some super cute little refrigerator magnets to send to people in random acts of kindness and stuff like that and to use them in my own home because I am an independent Scentsy consultant. I thought that that would be super fun. So that was my empties, you guys, for the last eight days and I hope that... Uh, my insight on some of the scents was really fun, and if you get a chance to get on any of those, please try them out if they're up your sleeve. Give me your viewpoint on any of the ones that you may have tried already. I would love to hear it. And please like, share, comment, subscribe if you're new here and want to hang around. I promise I am <laughs> the most real person you can be around anymore. I have found myself through... Um, through my YouTube channel and all of my subscribers and through my dear sweet friends that have always told me to be me because I am a beautiful person. So those things have really helped me to grow. Um, if you are looking to order some Scentsy through me, hit me up. You can, Or you can just go to ninjamom.scentsy.us and place that order. Bye!